The founder of the charity which helps families of defence personnel killed or injured in service has been honoured at a ceremony in Hobart. Major General John De Jellybrand set up the Legacy Organisation after returning home from the First World War. Now his medals are on display in a Tasmanian museum. Out of the ashes of the Great War, a great legacy was born. Tasmanian Major General John Jellybrand earned these medals as a bit of a rebel. He was, I think, unconventional. He um, perhaps was one of those Australians who didn't quite toe the British line. It wasn't until he returned home that he had the biggest impact. They found when they came back from the war that the economic circumstances, the social circumstances, were all very difficult. A lot of broken families and he saw the comradeship of war being used in peace. Major General Jellybrand established the Remembrance Club, which later became Legacy, an organisation which now supports around 90,000 widows and almost 2,000 children across the country. People naturally think about the soldiers who went away, but Legacy is about the families who bore the price behind. His medals have been donated to the Tasmanian Museum and Art Gallery in time to commemorate the centenary of Anzac next year. The only Tasmanian since Jellybrand to have risen to the rank of Major General says his focus on supporting people with shell shock, as it was then known, is still relevant today. He was a visionary in, the, in, in, in his uh, early efforts in that area. Post-traumatic stress disorder today is, uh, is a very large problem. It's the invisible wound of war. A legacy which lingers long after the guns are silent. Lauren Day, ABC News.